Hi dancers and welcome back to Dancers Feed. Since we are in the middle of recital and end of the year showcase season, I decided to put together a full body warm up that's going to help you right before you step out onto stage. Before we begin, I want to mention three different things. The first is that this warm up is perfect for any genre of dance. And this is because it's focusing on the specific muscle groups rather than specific technique. So whether you're a flamenco dancer, gutthuck dancer, a jazz dancer, this warm-up is gonna be perfect for you. Now, of course, you could customize this warm-up to suit your needs. So if you're a tapper, you could do more of the foot pedals that I show you in a little bit. Or if you are a contemporary dancer, you could work more on the contractions that I show you in a little bit. So keep that in mind. Number two, pre-performance warm-ups are obviously not supposed to be strenuous because you're supposed to use that energy for the choreography you're supposed to execute on stage. So make sure that you're using this warm up to focus on your muscles and also focus your mind and prepare yourself mentally for your beautiful performance. Lastly, number three, I'm going to leave timestamps in the description box below of each exercise that I break down. And I'm also going to show this to you from the beginning all the way to the end so you can do it along with me. So let's get started with warm up number one. All right, this first exercise, we're gonna start off by standing in parallel first, and we're going to start off by rolling our necks out. So just like you see me doing here, really relax, drop your ear to your shoulder, then bring it back to the other shoulder and then forwards. Once you do it four times to the right, you're going to repeat this to the left. This exercise is really working on our trap muscles, on our infraspinatus, which is behind the back, behind the shoulder blade, and also working on the spine. Once you do eight of those, you're going to repeat them, but this time you're going to add your shoulders and drop them. Stretch your upper back even more, just like you see me doing here, really releasing all the tension in your upper back. Again, this is a great warm up for your spine. Once you finish all four of those, we're gonna go even deeper and use our mid back now. Really stretch out your back, stretch out your neck, release everything, making sure that your fingers, your elbows, and your shoulders are completely relaxed. Just let your torso do the work. Once you're done doing four on both sides, you're going to do two more, but one on each side, and you'll see me do this in a second, where I really slow it down and I stretch out even more. I go all the way trying to get my lower back involved this time. Now I'm going all the way to the left, stretching it out, back and forwards. From here, I'm just going to bend my knees, stretch and roll up. Now we're going to get into the second warm up, which is shoulders. So I'm gonna roll my shoulder, then my elbow, my arm two times like you see me doing here. Stretch all the way to the back using your head, bend your knees, stretch up and come in. Again, left side shoulder, elbow, arm two times and then stretch your left arm to the back face the back and stretch up and bring it in now this time we're going to use both shoulders both elbows both arms two times and this time we're going to extend up and breathe out as you come in great this next exercise you're going to need something to hold on to behind you from here you're going to grand plie and come up as you come up flex one foot at a time like you see me doing here you're going to do that four times on the fifth one you're going to rotate your leg in and twist over from here you're going to twist back in plie and come up to again repeat these four plies with the flexed foot at the end on the fifth one remember you're going to rotate your leg in twist your body and then from here, you're going to twist the opposite way, plie, turn it out. This exercise is great to stretch and warm up your Achilles, your calves, your quadriceps, your glutes, your adductors, your abductors, and of course your spine. Now, if you're holding on to something um, at home, make sure that it's not wobbly, but also make sure that you're using it for stability and do not pull on it. You're going to feel a great burn from this, especially because you're using major muscles in your body, but it's not gonna to be too overwhelming. It's just gonna be enough to really get your blood pumping. For this next exercise, you're also gonna need something to hold on to and make sure again, you're not pulling. From here, we're going to start off by doing 16 foot pedals. Now I do a similar exercise in my beginner modern dance warm up, So I'll leave the link up above so you can check that out whenever you'd like. Once I'm done warming up my toes and my ankles by doing these foot pedals, I'm going to stretch out the top of my foot 
by crunching my toes, just like you see me doing here, pushing my back out and stretching that leg. So again, I'm going to place my toes down gently, making sure that they are aligned with my knee and my hip and press it back. Now I'm gonna repeat this, but in first position, so nice and turned out. As I'm doing this turned out, I'm keeping in mind that the weight is going over the ball of my foot, not the pinky. Again, do 16 of these foot pedals, and then we're going to scrunch the toes and stretch that leg out again to stretch out the top of the foot. This time I'm going to bring my heel forwards, and notice how I'm twisting my body. That's how I really get an even deeper stretch on the top of my foot. From here, I'm just going to do a couple of plies and releves, just to focus on my balance and my stability. Also firing up those Achilles again, and checking out my alignment in my knees and in my hips, having control in my abdominals. Again, just placing my fingers down at the bar, not grabbing and pulling it. I'm gonna do a couple of grand plies, and from there, I am done. That exercise is pretty easy. We're just going to do contractions and the letter C. So we're going to pull in and then push out to contract, pull in and push out. So I'm bringing my chest forwards, my head up, and then pushing backwards using my arms. Now you're gonna do this eight times. I'm gonna do four facing you and then four facing the side so you see how my back looks. Make sure that you really get that letter C in there using your whole spine and breathe in and out. And this is really gonna warm up your entire body, especially since you're also doing plies in between. This next exercise is definitely my favorite, but also probably the most intense. You will be using most of your muscles and your entire body for this one, so get ready. I'm gonna start off by just stretching my wrists out, just like you see me doing here, and shaking them out a little bit, because the first thing we're gonna do is get into a plank position. From here, you're gonna press forwards and back, rolling forwards and back. This is gonna fire up your abdominals. Once you do this four times, you're going to step into a downwards dog, just like you see me here. From here, I'm gonna bring one leg into the center of my body and the other leg up. I'm going to then bend it, flip it over, and rotate my arms and my body to a back bend position, just like that. After I stretch it out for a couple seconds, I'm going to repeat this to the other side. So again, we're gonna start off in a plank position and we're gonna come forwards and back, forwards and back four times, making sure that your back is aligned and your back is nice and straight. From here, I'm going to push up to downward facing dog, stretching out my Achilles and my calf muscles, also my hamstrings. Bring up the other leg and rotate over Plant your feet and your arms on the floor, stretch out that back, and then slowly chin to your chest, drop it all the way down. And now we're done with the entire pre-performance warm-up. Great job. All right, dancers, I hope you enjoyed this pre-performance warm-up. I hope you used it, or if you're a teacher, I hope you also share this with your students because it's so important to warm up the body in a gentle way before going on stage, and also just focusing your mind and attention onto what you're about to do. So if you liked what you saw, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel Dancer Steve. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for your support. I will see you all next time. Bye, dancers.